Hello Seahawks and welcome back to Seahawks Central Sports. This week we've got lots to cover with men's and women's basketball and swim and dive. So let's head over to Alexa with men's basketball. Thanks Davis. Over our break, we came up short against App State, but we beat FGCU 71-55 with White being responsible for 22 points. We also pulled ahead against Murray State 83-81 with Harden Hayes being responsible for 23 points. This upcoming Thursday, we play East Carolina and hope to snag another W for the season. We hope to see you there. Now on to Taylor with women's basketball. Thanks, Alexa. Over the break, the UNCW women's basketball team battled it out with Western Carolina and fought hard, but unfortunately lost with a final score of 54 to 43. Then on November 22nd, our girls played a tough match against Presbyterian. Freshman guard Kayla Silver scored 16 of UNCW's points in the fourth quarter. The Seahawks fought hard, but the Blue Hose pushed past the Seahawks with a final score of 64 to 51. On November 25th, our women's team played hard against Coastal Carolina, but fell short during the second half with a final score of 73 to 59. Now on to Grace with Swim and Dive. Thanks, Tay. Recently, the UNCW men and women's swim and dive teams have been quite successful. Just last week, we had a diver named the CAA Diver of the Week. Ethan Badrian closed out his fall season with Diver of the Week. Again, on the men's team, we had a freshman set the UNCW school record for the 400 IM. William Carrico set the record on the 400 IM on the second day of the Gamecock Invitational at the Carolina Natatorium. UNCW closed out their 2023 fall season with a pair of third place finishes at the Gamecock Invitational. Now let's head over to Sarah with club sports. Thanks Grace. UNCW Club Swim went out to regionals in Atlanta, Georgia over the November 10th weekend. The team placed fifth out of 20 teams, so a big congratulations on their success. Starting out round 16 of the National Collegiate Rugby Playoffs, the Seahawks came up short in a 27-15 loss against Norwich on November 17th. One tough loss wasn't enough to sway the team, who came back with a 50-22 win against Scranton. UNCW Hockey started out their weekend with a 3-2 win against Wake Forest. Traveling over to High Point, the Seahawks played a tight game, ultimately falling to the Panthers in a 4-3 overtime loss. Finally, men's volleyball just wrapped up their fall season with Battle at the Beach on November 18th. Congrats to the A-team on taking first in the gold bracket. That's all for Club Sports this week. Now back to Davis. Thanks, Sarah. Well, that does it for us this week. Join us back next week for more sports coverage and be sure to support all UNCW athletics. We'll see you next time on Seahawks Central Sports. Go